Hey there, I'm Tara Lundstrad and you're watching a review of Richard Sanders' Any Card. What is up you beautiful people, my name is Tyler Lonsford and welcome back to another magic trick review here on the channel. If you're new here then definitely consider subscribing and take a look around the channel on my past reviews. Now, if you're new here then welcome first of all, but also welcome to Upload Crazy Week. This is the week where I upload a new magic trick review every single day this week. Monday, Tuesday, today's Wednesday, and then we have two more coming for Thursday and Friday. I'm really excited about this. I'm once again I'm just I'm happy you're here. Thanks for spending a little bit of your time with me. And without further ado, let's get into a review of any card. One more quick thing is I just want to say I purchased this with my own money so you are truly watching an unbiased magic trick review. And if you would like to help support unbiased magic trick reviews, you can click the top link below in the description which will take you to my Patreon account. Now you can get some cool rewards over there and you can also help support unbiased magic. I don't make any money off of that. All the money I get goes directly into buying new magic. First off, let's talk about what actually is any card. Well, any card is an effect where you have a deck of cards, a blue deck of cards, and then you ask your spectators to name any card in the deck. Let's say they say three of spades. Now, you go through the deck, you take it out of the box, you say that you flipped over the four aces, and you take out the four aces that were flipped over, and once you pull them out, you lay them on the table, and then when you flip over the four aces that were face up in the deck, on the back of them, each one has a word, and it says the three of spades, or whatever card that they selected. I really like this. I think it's a really cool effect, and also the aces are red. The backs of the aces are red, and the rest of the cards are blue. So let's get into a more in-depth review right now. What are you going to get if you decide to purchase any card? Well, you will be receiving this little pamphlet right here. And inside of here is a piece of paper that has a link to a video online that you can stream. Now, that lasts about, it lasts a little over an hour, Richard Sanders going through teaching you the effect. He also teaches you different routine or presentations on how to present any card. And he goes through pretty much anything you can imagine that you'd have a question about for any card. You also receive a specially gimmicked deck of cards that you get to customize yourself. All you have to do is write on the cards. You get to customize it to your language or your handwriting, however you want. So that is the only main, like making that you have to do to anything. How difficult is this to perform? Well, it's not that difficult to perform. As soon as you watch the tutorial video all of it, all the way through, you should be able to perform this in about 30 to 45 minutes after you get the handling down. It's almost self-working you really just got to do like it's i don't even want to call it a slight but you just got to do like a couple simple things is this examinable yes the four aces that you lay out are examinable but the actual deck of cards that you're using is not examinable How's the teaching? Well, if you have bought anything from Sanders Effects in the past, then you know that Richard Sanders is a great teacher when it comes to teaching magic. I really love the tutorial. He really does go into pretty much anything you can think of that you'd have a question about for any card. And like I mentioned previously, he does give you additional presentations on how you can present this, so you do have a choice on what you want to do. How are the angles? This is great for angles. You can perform this around it. It is 365 degrees. You don't need to worry about angles at all. Is there a setup or a reset when performing any card? Yes, there is an initial setup that you have to do where you have to write on the cards. So that'll probably take you about half an hour, probably 30 minutes. Now, after you do that, then you pretty much are good to go for every, every time you want to perform this. And the reset you could do from walking from table to table, it'll take you like five seconds. Are there negatives to performing any card? I mean, if you want this to be examinable and it's not, then maybe that might be a negative for you. But for me, I, I'm fine with it not being examinable. I mean, if you can control your audience and you're not in an environment where they're gonna wanna put their hands all over your props, then I would say that this might not be a negative. But once again, I'm just warning you. Are there any positives when performing any card? Yes, the fact that they can name any card is really good. I love that. There's no like restrictions. You don't have to say any card between, you know, the ace and the king of spades. Like it's it's no like any type of force. You get to truly ask them to name any card and they do. Another positive is that I love the invisible deck and this is like another version of the invisible deck. It doesn't use rough and smooth, but it is like another version of the invisible deck. It, it does have a little different method, but I, I love this. 
what should this retail at? So this currently retails as 40 US dollars. Now, is that a lot? Is that a good price? I would say that that's a pretty good price to pay for this. You are getting a special gimmick deck, and all you have to do is write on it. So. I'm fine with paying $40 for this. I think it's a good price. I wouldn't go any higher, but I'm totally okay with 40. What would I give this out of 10? I would give this a nine and a half out of 10, only because I, I just took the half point off because it's not examinable. So it's not that that would matter, it just may matter for you, but I would totally give this a 9.5 out of 10. Now, should you pick this up? If you like the invisible deck or you like any type of prediction when it comes to cards, then you are going to love this. I think you should pick this up if you like card tricks, but this is totally up to you. And that about does it for this review video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I was able to help you make a more informed decision of whether or not you want to pick up any card. If you like to, the link will be down below in the description. Also, thank you again for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. And always comment down below what you thought of this video as well as what you thought of Upload Crazy Week. Now, also, I like to say that you can help continue to support Unbiased Magic Trick Reviews by clicking the top link in the description to go to my Patreon and you can get some pretty cool rewards. Now, once again, I like to thank you for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.